if you share a single PC with other people, then each person should have their own user account. Each person can customize their user account to their own settings and preferences. Now when creating a user account, you can choose to either create a local account for that PC or a Microsoft account. Now to create a user account, you need to go to your PC settings by going to your start screen, then move your mouse pointer to the right hand side of the screen to activate the settings charm. Now from settings charm, click on settings and then click on change PC settings. Then you want to go to accounts and go to other accounts and it should give you the option to add another account with a plus sign. So you want to click there to add another account. Now you should see this because Microsoft encourages users to link their Windows 8 user accounts with an online Microsoft account. Now this enables you to download and install Windows 8 apps as well as synchronizing your settings uh, across your Windows 8 devices. So if you want to create the new user account using a Microsoft account, you can just enter the email uh, associated with that Microsoft account. Uh, if you don't, if you want to create a local uh, Windows 8 user account, there's an option at the bottom that says sign in without a Microsoft account. So that's what you want to click on. And then you're going to click on local account. So here you'll be required to assign uh, the new user account with a username and a password. So just enter uh, the username like that. And then select a password then you can re-enter the password to confirm and then you can put the password hint and then click on next one more thing if you're creating a user account for a child then you need to check on this box so that windows uh, will turn on family safety for that particular user account uh, if not just click on finish and, and that's it you should now be able to see uh, the new user accounts you've created there so that's how you can create a new uh, local user account on your Windows 8 PC. Thank you for watching. Ask any question you have in the comments box below this video. And don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend. I'll see you guys soon.